Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney Springs and I am so excited. It is officially October, so of course I wanted to come out and try the new cookie of the month at Gideon's Bakehouse. And then on top of that, Chef Art Smith's Homecoming, which is one of my favorite Disney restaurants, has a brand new menu and they added meatloaf. So I wanted to try some of it and uh, let you guys know what I think. So we're going to eat some cookies, do some shopping, and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of day. Anywho. Let's go do this. It is shockingly a beautiful day today here at Disney Springs, especially since Florida is in a hurricane warning as we speak. Uh, hurricane Milton is making its way and expecting to actually hit Orlando. And as you can see, they're taking apart the hot air balloon here at Disney Springs uh, in preparation of the storm. Hurricane Milton is just 48 hours away from hitting us here in Florida, and I'm very concerned with the way that this hurricane is going. I've lived here for now for 10 years, and I've been through several hurricanes in the past, but I don't think I've ever seen one that's going to go completely right through Florida. It looks like it's going to take I-4 from Tampa to Daytona and stop in Orlando in between, and uh, I'm just hoping that uh, uh, everything just goes over as smooth and as easy as possible, and my thoughts and prayers are going to go out to anyone one that's going to be affected by this i thought about evacuating but uh they're closing down the uh airport orlando is closing wednesday so no flights in no flights out and the uh coast like tampa is all being evacuated to like central florida or up uh into georgia so the traffic jam is very backed up like it's hours and hours of traffic so i'm a new homeowner i think i'm just going to stay at my home and uh just hunkle down during the storm and i figured might as well come out and enjoy a little bit of uh, the fresh air uh, while we have it and uh, kind of explore around Disney Springs. But I'll keep you guys updated on the hurricane if I hear anything as we go about the day. And maybe afterwards we'll uh, take a trip to Publix and uh, kind of show you what it's like in there. Bare shelves everywhere. I do need to find some water. A lot of people don't know that this isn't a hot air balloon. It's actually a helium balloon. And the only thing that's holding it from flying away is all of those straps and a big cord right in the middle there. So it's smart that Disney is prepping it. It looks like they're taking it apart, but they could be uh, honestly, you know, just adding weights to it or just making sure it's secure. I just got a closer look and they're putting more nets on it and fastening it down. They're like really putting it down. It's crazy. It's like a gigantic net all the way around the balloon. It looks like they're clearing away all of the patio furniture at the restaurants. This used to be tables. Just getting all prepared. I wanted to show you guys a different perspective of the balloon. Look at that. That's the net they got around it. That's pretty impressive. Like, it goes all the way down. It looks like they have more than one of them actually on it. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. Disney sent out a message saying that they're monitoring the storm very closely. So I'll keep you updated uh, on any announcements of the park closing. They did close down the Fort Wilderness campgrounds, the Polynesian bungalows, the Treehouse Villas. Those are always the first ones to go. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to keep you monitored. And I'll also let you know if anything changes with the hurricane. And uh, just kind of uh, enjoy the days and the sun while we got them, you know? We're going to make our way up to Gideon's now, see if there's a standby wait or if they're doing a virtual queue. I'm kind of thinking there's going to be not much of a wait at all. I've already had these cookies because they had them last year and probably the year before, but that's not, that's not going to stop me from getting them again this year. Like I said, they always improve a little bit. They always tweak the recipe and I don't know, I just always notice little things about them that make them special. It doesn't look like it's a long line at all. And I've never noticed the giant cookies in these windows before. Look at, there's gigantic chocolate chip cookies in there. Huh. Might as well hop in line now so we can get our cookies. Here is a look at the menu for the month of October at Gideon's, and I love it. Gideon's Spook House. Of course, we've got the Frankenstein coming back and the Bride of Frankenstein. Two cookies this month, and uh, I'm excited. I'm going to get them both and show you and let you know what I think. I just love this artwork, though. This looks so cool. It's probably one of my favorite little uh, menu cards.
we have obtained the cookies. And if you didn't know, October is Gideon's birthday. The original Gideon's opened October 2016, and this is their birthday month, so they go all out, like I said. And we have the Frankenstein cookie, which is dark chocolate, double stuff Oreos and M&Ms. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? And then we've got the Bride of Frankenstein. And this one I love. This one is uh, white chocolate, golden Oreos, and M&Ms. And I figured we'd just try them both. Even though I already know I'm gonna love this one. Oh, look, my glass is a little foggy. Foggy-eyed glasses cookie review. Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna break into the cookie. We're starting with the golden one first. Look at this. Oh, much too good. I honestly just love the theming of these cookies. I mean, it tastes delicious. I absolutely love this golden Oreo one, but I just love how colorful and kind of Halloween and spooky they are, even their names. Uh, but now I think we're gonna dive into the uh, Frankenstein one. Now it's time for the Frankenstein. Oh, this one's a little softer, a little softer. I wasn't expecting that. This is such a good cookie, and it was definitely softer uh, than the uh, Bride of Frankenstein one, which is, I don't know why. Maybe it could be because of the double stuff Oreo in there, but still, the Bride one is my favorite, and I just love them. Now I got two cookies. I have two cookies, I have two cookies, I have two cookies. Hey, hey. Sorry. I <laughs> like the little rascals. I'm gonna have to take these on the road with me because I don't wanna get too full, especially if we're gonna get something else to eat. But like I mentioned, my favorite one is gonna be the Bride of Frankenstein, only because I love golden Oreos. And uh, this is still another great cookie, especially if you love regular Oreos. I would highly recommend getting them if you come here for the Halloween season. And it's only October, and plus it's Gideon's birthday. All right, enough of the cookie business. I, like I said, I love the golden Oreo one. I'm always gonna love that one, but the other one is still a good cookie. Now I wanna move along, make my way over to Homecoming, and then look for some Halloween treats. Maybe you just walk around the world of Disney. I'm wearing uh, the Peanuts uh, Halloween shirt from Roosevelt. I absolutely love this. I know it's not Disney, but this is a classic. And if anybody wants to buy any of the shirts I wear in my videos, like I said, I got a link in the description uh, where you get 15% off. So uh, yeah, let's make our way over to homecoming ma the meatloaf here it is chef art smith's homecoming florida kitchen southern shine and i'm so excited to try the new menu like i said this is one of my favorite restaurants on property it's so good and i recommend it to everybody they also have an Addie Mae's dumpling soup here that I normally get every single time because it's just so good. I, I'm obsessed with the dumpling soup here. But today, I already got two cookies and a meatloaf, so I think I'm gonna skip the dumpling soup. The meatloaf has arrived, and take a look at that. I love the biscuit. We got creamy mashed potatoes, green beans. It looks good. It looks like a good portion of meatloaf, too. I'm excited. We're gonna dive right on in. I normally don't like ketchup on my meatloaf. I know that's like a controversial thing. They do give you like chunky, chunky, chunky ketchup, chunky ketchup. So I figured I'd just take a little potatoes, a little meatloaf. This is absolutely amazing. And I love the flavor and the green beans, the potatoes. It's the total meatloaf package and I'm here for it. I also like to make meatloaf sandwiches with the biscuit. Look at that. Take a little biscuit here, add the meatloaf on top, a little potato. The only issue with this meal is I think they should give you three pieces of meatloaf because I like to eat a little bit of everything in bites and uh, I've got an abundance of green beans and mashed potatoes left over. I wish I had some meatloaf to accommodate it, but other than that, it's a really good meal and I'm happy we got to come in and try it. Like I said, Chef Art Smith's homecoming never disappoints. And the thing that stood out most to me was those green beans. I mean, the meatloaf was fantastic, but I loved how the green beans were soft, they were braised, and they had like chunks of bacon in it, would add, like it added a little crunchy texture. I would definitely get that again. And I wanna try the meatloaf sandwich version maybe next time. And now, I don't know, maybe we'll just walk around Disney Springs a little bit more and uh, just kinda hang out. There's still quite a bit of people here at Disney Springs shopping. A lot of them are people that evacuated from the coast. And even though Orlando's still in the path of the hurricane, uh, they couldn't go any farther. It's, it's not that easy to evacuate. It's one thing, uh, one thing I learned. 
one of the things I've learned from living here in Florida is that it's not very easy to evacuate. Like, you know, it's, it's not something a lot of people can do. Right now, like I said, you can't fly out. The, the, the airport is uh, closing and there's going to be no flights available and uh, there's no gas. There's no gas at any of the gas stations. So if you wanted to drive and get out of the path of the hurricane, it's going to take you a long time and you're going to be risking running out of gas and just being stranded on the side of the road. So at that point, you might as well just like stay at home and just like hunker down and hope for the best. And I even looked, I Googled uh, like how long it would take for me to drive to Georgia from Orlando. And it's like six hours right now. And it's only going to get worse like later on. So like you would have to evacuate, drive eight hours away and pray that there'd be no gas. And like I said, that's something a lot of people don't want to do. So that's why they stay put, they stay at their homes. And like I said, they just, you know, wish for the best. Amorettes has a lot of really good Halloween treats already out. They got the Amorettes Wilting Rose, a Halloween Minnie Mouse Doom, Doom Dome, Madame Leota Petite Cake. $22 for that cake and even a pumpkin spice Mickey Macaroon Pop. That actually looks pretty good, but I'm all tapped out on the sweet treats. I got two cookies. I wanted to stop into the world of Disney. I hear they're already starting to sell some Christmas stuff. I mean, the Halloween's still a couple of weeks away. They have a most magical holiday on Earth shirt already. That's kind of nice. Oh, look, they have more shirts here, too, with, like, Mickey and Minnie and Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. Like, I think there's more, though. Oh, look at these right here. I don't know why I like this so much. It reminds me of, like, 90s Disney, member, uh, 90s Disney like, apparel. Especially this one right here. I think it's the bright colors and the Mickey. It's, like, perfect. I still haven't seen any more uh, Christmas stuff though. The Halloween's in the back. Christmas maybe in the corner? Nobody puts Christmas in the corner. I'm not looking for anything particular in here. I just like browsing around the world of Disney. You know, I'm just you know, kind of shopping around. And I am interested to see if they have Christmas stuff because I think it's so cool that Christmas is already out and it's, it's only the first week of October. Wow, they're not even playing. Christmas right here and then the Halloween section is right there. They've got the lounge flies out already. They've got ears even. I like the new ears though. These are kind of nice. A lot of Christmas stuff already. Even uh, Christmas train sets. Oh, here's another shirt. I've seen this shirt out. This shirt's definitely been out here for a while. I've seen it before. I like looking at all the Christmas stuff. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it looks like a little train right here. Well, there you go. $149.99. That's actually really nice. I hope you get an annual pass discount on it though. And then if you don't want Christmas, you got Halloween. Just like that. <laughs> I didn't find anything I was interested in buying in the world of Disney. So I decided to just start making my way down to the garage and probably uh, make a slow exit out of the park. But if anything comes by that I want to show you, uh, maybe I'll stop and uh, give it a little peek see. The hangar bar has a really cool menu uh, for the Halloween season. They got a creepy mudslide. I like the name of that. Creepy mudslide, a spice pear potion, and a pumpkin patch old fashion. That looks good. And even some bites I heard. Yeah. Look at that. They actually have special Halloween uh, bites for uh, the season. Now, I like that. It's adding a little extra to it. Oh, and the chicken on the egg. Snake bite bao buns. That actually sounds really good. I love me some brisket. Hangar bar is great, and uh, Chef D always makes amazing food in there. I would usually stop and get something to eat, but like I said, I'm already a meatloaf and two cookies in. It looks like they're still fastening down the balloon here. They've been doing that for quite some time. Like I said, I think it's just so mesmerizing. I thought they were going to take it down, but I guess they can't take it down. They just must, they got to hold it down. Well, I think that's enough for Disney Springs. We're going to head back home. I want to see if I can get some water. And uh, maybe I'll show you guys around the area and kind of show you what it's like uh, just a couple of hours before a hurricane comes to, comes to Florida. I stopped off to get gas on the way home. And like I said, there ain't no gas at any of the gas stations anywhere near me. People keep pulling up, but they all have the bags on them. Not one single pump has gas at all and they even have uh garbage cans over the gas like that's where they put the gas in i knew that because i used to be a gas attendant i used to pump gas up in pennsylvania
I'm used to the gas station running out of gas because it happens quite frequently, but not all the gas stations in the area. You know what I mean? I went down 535 and I checked out the other 7-Eleven. I did see Wawa had some gas, uh, but the lines were going out the street. Like literally you'd have to wait hours to get gas, I feel like. And uh, then you can probably get there like a lot of people now. I see it's actually getting very like backed up traffic wise and they're all trying to get in here. But there's no gas in here. There's no way they're coming in and they're just making circles. And I feel bad. They should put a sign out front or something. I decided to make my way over to Publix so that we could see if they got any water or toilet paper in. But I'm probably down. Oh, no. Publix is definitely my favorite grocery store here in Florida. Actually, it might be one of my favorite grocery stores of all time. I do love Whole Foods and I love Wegmans. Wegmans is such a great store, but they don't have that down here in Florida. And I definitely wouldn't want to go to Walmart, especially the one that's near Disney, the Lake Buena Vista one. It's so busy there and they don't have anything at all, I guarantee it. Sometimes you can get lucky at the Publix because they really do like round the clock stocking. Like they really keep the shelves as uh, tight and up kept as possible it looks like Publix is closing actually they're closing in just a couple hours so I'm glad we got here now take a look at this no water at all and they even tried to limit it it was limit two uh, gallons per household but uh, completely empty they do have the stuff that you can make uh, the water taste fruity but nothing to put it in if you've never been to a Publix before, you should know that they pride themselves on always keeping the shelves stocked and organized. They have people just assigned to aisles that push things forward and always make it look like it's full. Uh, so for them to be out of stuff, it's kind of like a big deal. Like I said, they're usually on top of things. Just like what you saw with the water, same thing goes for the toilet paper. Nothing left. Everything's gone and I talked to a buddy who works here and he said it's been like that for quite some time the past couple days and uh, Yeah, I don't know why Florida's like that. I, I feel like it's always the toilet paper water and milk Same thing goes for the milk. They've only got uh, just a couple gallons left in there Not too much 2% all the regular milk's gone anything down there nothing well, that was a strike and a miss at Publix. They don't got anything in there, but, you know, they're closing in a couple of hours and the storm is going to be here. Uh, we're going to be approaching that 24-hour clock window soon. So uh, I'm okay at the moment, though. I do. Uh, I did go out and buy a lot of stuff beforehand. The only thing I was looking forward, uh, looking for is water because uh, when I went to go get water, the only thing they had was, like, the little tiny waters, and they didn't have many left, so I'm not too sure how long that would last in an emergency, you know? <laughs> Since we weren't getting anything from Publix, I decided to come home and uh, start prepping for uh, the hurricane. I'm going to clear out my pool deck here and put everything inside. And then I've got some sandbags for under the door. And uh, we're going to kind of just shelter down and hang out. Hopefully it's not going to be too bad. I've got a couple of things already set up that I knew I was going to need for the hurricane. I charged up all of my extra batteries so I can charge my phone in case the power goes out. We've already got food and like I said, I've got water. It's going to last even though I've got like the, the little ones. I might sip them, drink them in one sip. But like I said, you're just looking to get by for a couple of days because there is flooding around like Reams Road and you know, the power could be going down for long periods of time. So you want to make sure that you're not out outside on the roads especially with the traffic lights and just wait until you get the all clear and that's exactly what I plan on doing. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you are wondering where Gracie Girl is, and uh, it's funny because she's gone away on a trip with her mom that they had planned for a while, and it just happened to fall during the hurricane. So in the meantime, I brought this stuffed animal out that my friend gave me, so I can think of her. I don't know, it's not really doing the trick. This is where Gracie usually sits, and she sits just like that usually. I'm going to miss her, but she's in good hands, and uh, I'm sure we'll be uh, reunited soon. And with that, I think we are done here today. 
Disney just announced that they're going to be closing the park starting tomorrow and I'll put all the information right here so you can read it up and I was expecting them to do that along with you know Universal and SeaWorld and any other major theme parks in Florida uh, and also a lot of the businesses are going to be closed Uber is suspending all operations grocery stores are going to be closing so you're not going to be able to get food or anything to eat or drink for a while so I hope that everybody went out and got all prepared and ready for the the storm and uh, I'm probably not going to be making any more videos until after the storm I'm going to be you know just hanging out in the house uh, but if you want to follow me on Instagram I'll post some stories to keep you guys updated and I encourage everyone to do the same you know even if the parks are open for a little bit tomorrow I would rather just stay home and uh, kind of you know just be safe you know you don't want to be out especially with the power going out like I said the traffic situation keep the roadways clear a lot of people that came here on vacation uh, aren't able to actually leave like there's no flights out of Orlando so people plan their vacation came down here and then all of a sudden in the past month <laughs> in the past 30 days we got hit with two hurricanes and now they're kind of trapped here so Disney's gonna have the resorts open and they're gonna have some you know uh, entertainment there and try to keep all the guests you know happy and comfortable and uh, I think that's really cool them to do that because you know like I said they got nowhere else to go. And the same thing goes for anybody over on the coast. You know, try to get away. I know that those areas are emerge like they're evacuated. You have to get out. Uh, and I don't think Orlando is going to be a mandatory evacuation. If it does happen, I mean, I'm not even too sure how to proceed with that. Like I said, <laughs> like you really can't go anywhere unless you, you know, got multiple vehicles already saved up with gas and everything all ready to go. Uh, so, uh, I guess that's it. I, uh, let you guys know everything, uh, and how the storm went for me after, uh, it clears away. And, uh, like I said, my thoughts and prayers go out to everybody. So I hope we can get through this as easy, easy as possible. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it. So, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.